My name is Dr. Carly, also known as Professor Caroline Fertelman, and I have over 30 years experience working as a paediatrician in the NHS, and I'm also the mother to three now adult children. Uh, I think there's quite a lot to be said about alcohol, and um, I want to use this to talk about it both antenatally, um, also um, when you're breastfeeding, and uh, for babies who uh, might get alcohol by mistake, but also um, drinking in um, children and adolescents and, and young people. So uh, the perceived wisdom, uh, certainly when I was pregnant, was that it was fine to drink a little bit. And I think there's always been this perceived wisdom that it's okay to drink a little bit. But I think um, certainly that isn't the current recommendations anymore. Even uh, small amounts of alcohol uh, in any of the trimesters, the first three months, the second or the third, are thought to be deleterious. Um, not good for your baby. So I think the most important thing, especially if you're planning your baby and you know about it, is not to drink throughout the duration of the pregnancy. A bit like smoking. And I think the reason for this is that we know when um, mothers drink a lot during pregnancy, particularly early on, then the child is at risk of fetal alcohol syndrome, which is an unusual uh, and rare disorder with significant um, morbidity. So they have unusual faces and they often have cardiac uh, heart abnormalities. And finally, they also have uh, problems with their development. Uh, that's fetal alcohol syndrome, and they have a specific uh, a look uh, to them. Uh, but that's quite unusual. Uh, more usual uh, is um, small amounts of drinking, which has quite um, subtle effects in children. And uh, we see it a lot in children who, who unfortunately come up for adoption, where the parent, the mother, during the pregnancy has been um, drinking alcohol. They don't have the obvious typical features of fetal alcohol syndrome, but they do and they have been subject to alcohol and they have all sorts of issues, uh, processing issues, uh, issues like autistic spectrum disorder, um, uh, ADHD uh, and general developmental delay. So m most children um, who uh, have been exposed to alcohol will, can quite often um, uh, have these rather subtle changes and, and they range um, all the way through and this is increasingly being recognised. So that's about drinking antenatally. Um, drinking when you're breastfeeding, uh, again, not, not great. Not sure if that very much gets into the breast milk, but actually it just means that you're not as astute, you're not as aware of your baby. Um, and particularly, it's an absolute no-no if you're gonna be bed sharing with your baby because um, alcohol means that you will be less responsive to where they are in the bed and where you are in the bed. So uh, another reason not to drink alcohol when you have a little baby. Now I'm going to move on to alcohol in, uh, in children and young people. Uh, uh, in the, sorry, alcohol for young children, toddlers who get hold of it, can be quite dangerous. It drops their sugar. And if you ever find that your young uh, child has got hold of alcohol and has drunk um, alcohol, then you need to call 111, or if it's a large amount, take them straight to the emergency department because they do get low sugars. And that is a major concern. In the UK, you can drink at home from the age of five. Uh, I know there's a lot of moves to move to move on from this and to try and, and stop that, um, uh, because actually, it's children of any age should not really be exposed to alcohol. That it used to be said, well, if they drink a bit, then they won't become alcoholics later. It's complete baloney. Um, children and adolescents should not be drinking any alcohol at all. Uh, and obviously alcoholism is a big, um, a big problem in this country and in many countries. Um, and so it, it actually getting your child to get used to alcohol does not stop them from becoming uh, addicted to alcohol. Uh, and in fact, if you, uh, if you look at data in France, they have very, very high levels of addiction and um, liver disease uh, and other diseases secondary to alcohol uh, intake. Uh, so yes, I, I can't tell you that you need to be dry. I'm not dry, I do drink as well in moderation, but I, I do think, but I know that that comes with its, um, with its risks. Uh, and yes, there may be some benefits in how I feel, but the risks are probably do outweigh the benefits. And if you can keep your child off alcohol um, all the way through their childhood and adolescence, I think you're doing them a favor. And it's certainly not going to, by them having alcohol early, it's not gonna mean that they're less likely to become addicted to alcohol later on. That isn't the evidence. Alcohol isn't something we need in our lives. Um, food we do, and therefore food, um, it can be more complicated, but we don't need drugs in our lives. We don't need alcohol in our lives and we don't need smoking in our lives. And if you can go some way towards um, meaning your child has longer periods without them, then so much the better. Um, 
Thank you for your time. If you found this video helpful, please do like and subscribe to my channel and let others know about it.